Hey everyone, it's Lori, and I'm going to do a different type of reading for you. Um, my focus is going to be on what you don't see coming, okay? It can be anything whatsoever. Let's go ahead and um, start with a zodiac die here We've got and what signs you might be dealing with. We've got really strong Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. All the fire signs right ripping right through the middle there. We've got Virgo to dampen and keep things calm, keep things from flaring up. We've got Taurus and Capricorn. All right, so this could be in any area of your life. My main focus while I am doing this reading is going to be like, I don't know why I keep thinking financial, okay? But what you just don't see coming and what you can do to overcome it, okay? So I'm not going to leave you just hanging there. Let's go ahead and cut the deck and get this reading going. All right. All right. So right now you're in a difficult position. You are feeling um, a little bit of regret over possibly the loss of a job or some financial earnings. I am hearing um, investments kind of tanked. Everybody just got hit with this. I will give you one word of hope, though. I saw on the news today that they are expecting inflation to go down by 2% here, or it did go down by 2%, and hopefully it will continue in that downward trend. All right, so right now you're feeling the pinch of the penny, okay? What can you do to overcome this? Communicate. Keep the lines of communication open. Um, talk to your investors. Talk to um, your potential employers. If you're looking for work, I'm hearing strongly somebody saying, I'm, I need a job, okay? You, you've gone through and you put your resumes in. Now follow up yourself. Don't wait for them to call you. Call them the next day and say, the, after you submit it and say, hey, um, I'm really interested in this job. When I, when can I come in for an interview? That shows that you want the job, okay? And they're more likely to call you than just somebody out there that they haven't met or heard from. All right. Whoops. Jumping ahead here. What may be stopping you um, from moving forward to regain your losses or gain a job? Competition. You're worried, okay? You are a little bit worried here about the competition for the job part. Um, for the investments, I'm hearing you, you're just uncertain about the volatility of the market right now. So you don't really want to do anything, but you are willing to keep the lines of communication open. Very good. Um, yeah, if you are looking for a job, check with whoever you're you're wanting to work for, but also check out their competitor because they may actually be looking for somebody. And if it's similar type of work, you know, see which company is actually better to work for. All right. Let's see here. What can you do? What can you think about work on um, to overcome this? Just understand that in the future, things are going to be better no matter what. Um, this tarot is saying that you will be moving into a, a less stressful, less chaotic situation here, no matter what the situation is, okay? The market is going to calm down. It, It's right here, okay? We're going to be moving into a more settled um, economy here, okay? Now, I'm not a financial advisor. I can't tell you what to do. I'm telling you what the tarot says. So everything that you do is at your own risk, okay? I'm just giving you a tarot reading that's telling me what's what's happening here. All right. And everything can change on a dime with tarot, just so you know. Okay. So it does look like we are heading into better times, though. All right. So if you can be patient, hold out. Also, I'm hearing that you will be receiving a job offer before long. And I'm hearing it's because you followed up with somebody. You called and you said... I'm really interested in this position with you, okay? Can I come in? Do you have any questions for me? Can I come in, come in for an interview? Do you have any questions for me over the phone? You know, what more can I tell you about myself? Can I? How can I show that I really want to, you know, 
an opportunity for this job. All right. What can you do inside to calm your nerves or whatever? Remember you're smart. Remember you are intelligent, that you have what it takes, okay? Think logically. Do not let your emotions or your ego get the better of you. All right, this is the king telling his ego, no, 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 no. And his emotions, no, 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 no. We're going to keep you guys right here under, you know, I'm keeping everything under control here. We don't need to escalate anything. I'm large and in charge, okay? And I don't care if you're male or female watching this. This fits for both, all right? What can you learn from the people around you that may benefit you in this situation, okay? Um, the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands. She is charismatic, courageous, outgoing, beautiful, um, loyal, okay? She's got a lot of trust. People trust her implicitly, Um She's got a really good sense of intuition, okay? So watching the people around you, there might actually be a queen of wands around you who could help you to stay calm, to think outside the box. If you are needing to pull together a portfolio or something, this would be the person that could help you do that in a creative, different, unique way to get you out in front of other people. All right, this... Queen of Wands could be your financial advisor or um, somebody else who can help you. You know, I'm, I'm getting a grandmotherly figure, somebody who really knows how the market and the economy works. And they, we've, you know, everything's a repeat cycle. We repeat these things. We go through this. And it, I really do think it's all intentional. Okay. So inflation, um, depressions, all of these things, wars, they're all meant to keep things going that way sideways <laughs> anyways somebody who's got some maturity to them some age to them okay and that is not an insult but i'm saying if somebody's in their 90s they've been through what several inflations a couple at least a couple of recessions <clears throat> i don't think that they're old enough to be uh have gone through any well the korean war but no actual like world war anymore i think we've pretty much lost all of those people anyways somebody who has lived through this can give you confidence and let you know that it's not as bleak as it looks you just have to hold out because you know things will level out again okay we're in a, a, a an election year this is why we've got all this turmoil going on now that's why i say i think it's a lot of it's just intentional What's your outcome here? What do you not see coming? Everything will be fine. There's the sun card, okay? This is beautiful. This, The truth of what I just said is going to be revealed to you, okay? It's going to be the dawning of a new day, joy, happiness, contentedness. Yeah, life is going to be better soon, okay? All right. I absolutely love this reading. It was a very short one. In fact, I feel like I should be giving you, um, oh, some astrology. Yeah. Spirit saying astrology today. Let's see. Sorry about the noise. I forgot that these make <laughs> quite a bit of noise here. Let's see what the um, astrology wants to say about what you don't see coming. What you don't see coming. And that's awesome that everything will work out. Look how this is heading into the sun here. Okay. And you're anchored by the Queen of Wands. So that's really good. Like very down to earth energy here. All right. We have House Nine, which is about spiritual growth. So maybe just trusting your intuition a little bit more here. Okay, and we have house one. Oh, excuse me. House one, individuality, self-image, and approach to life. Okay, this is about how you approach um, going out and starting a business, getting a job. Okay, it's about your self-image. So find out what sign, what zodiac sign is in your house one, and that will give you a great idea of how you approach 
um, your individuality, what your self-image is, and why, your approach to life in general, okay? Do the same thing for house nine. Find out what sign, planet, or whatever is in that house, and that will help you to, to discover more about yourself. All right, we have a fire sign here, fire energy, confidence, optimism, passion, and bravery. Absolutely, it's going to take courage. It always takes courage to play the market, um, to invest in the market at all, especially in such volatile times. Um, but I am also hearing that this is about possibly starting a new job, um, starting a new business for yourself. All right, so we have Aries, Taurus, and Sagittarius here. Aries, um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius lined up exactly the same order. So if you happen to be any of those signs, this message is telling you to remember your confidence, your optimism, your passion, and your bravery, okay? This is also a trying moment. So you have angelic support, harmony, and perfect flow. Yes, once you put yourself in trying, okay? You absolutely will flow. This will all happen. And look, it's right next to the Six of Swords saying it's going to flow into this happiness. This is beautiful. Let's get two more messages here. House two, physical security, possessions, material values, and self-worth. Okay, we've got self-image and self-worth here. But now we're talking about... Um, what you do for career, what you do for work, you know, how do you make money? How, okay, so that's what house two is about. Look up and see what sign you actually have in house two. And on this side, we have house five. Again, this sounds like fire energy here, okay? It's passion, play, children, confidence, and creativity. So think outside the box. Um, remember to have that Fire confidence, okay? Have that sense of play and optimism that children have, okay? Be passionate about when you take something on, when you're doing something. Awesome. And I want to say that Uranus is in reverse right here, so it might be in retrograde. There's so many that were and have been. Um, but there's not going to be any radical changes right now, okay? Things are going to be kind of... Um, you're No, I'm sorry. You are being asked by spirit not to make any radical changes, okay? Keep it mellow. Keep it even keeled. Know who you are, okay? And have that confidence in who you are. You're worthy of this position, and you can handle playing the market. You're good. All right, let's see if there's any messages with the die. R riches <laughs> something that you have um questions about will be answered okay i've got query here so any questions boy these dice are just not rolling they feel like lead weight right now so somebody out there may feel like that's how you're feeling right now like lead weight tied to your feet or your waist or something all right there we got a wild here <sighs> demonstrate i'm hearing demonstrate demonstrate do a demo possibly for this employer okay ask to set up some sort of um um some of you are in the entertainment field okay and because i'm getting a gaffe g-a-f-f-e and i'm i know that it has something to do with musical equipment okay so set up um maybe a demo of what you could do i don't know i'm gonna leave it at that They just are not coming out right. Okay, I'm hearing Donald, okay, that may be the name of a company, um, somebody that maybe uh, you, you're interviewing with. Know your ABCs. Have the fine details, okay? Look at the details closely. You're very good at that. You're quite capable of doing that. Just go ahead. And if you're not, that's when you pull in this Queen of Wands to help you with that, okay? somebody definitely has your back here somebody definitely has your back there we go now we've got an actual roll yardage i don't know why yardage and i'm not getting like 
fabric. I'm getting more of a financial thing. I don't even know if that's a term in finances at all, but yardage. Forays, foray, like a foray into the woods, into war. Somebody's questioning. Somebody's doing research. Okay, somebody's trusting that this person here has knowledge of the way things used to be, male or female. Okay, the Queen of Wands is just an energy. So there may be an, uh, a person in your life that you can go to and talk to about these things. In fact, their name may be George. Okay, George. Uh, Gordon. I just heard Fabio. Um, it's a habit. There's a habit here. You may have a habit that needs to be released. Okay, maybe this is something that breaks your confidence. Think about that. Somebody out there, very specifically, maybe one person... Spirit is saying you have a habit of doing something in interviews or before you get the interview, and it's called self-sabotage, okay? So check into that. See if you can come up with what that is. Break that. As soon as you become aware of it, you can stop the habit, okay? All right, good, good. All right, I, I'm hearing John. Increase, index. Win, W-I-N, Bevins, Bovine, that might have something to do with a stock. Um, I'm hearing bull, bull, bull market. All right, we've got a wild here that I'm going to re-roll. It came out wild again. Is that wild that it came out wild? Okay. Um, I'm hearing hive, hive, the, the buzzing. There's a lot of talk about something, a lot of gossip, um, a lot of, uh, excitement, excitement. There's excitement building. And something's going to happen pretty quick because that just rolled right off the edge of the table in this great big arc. All right. We have Jay that showed up but we will go with this one Isaac I'm hearing chick check like a French word check c-h-e-q-u-e check um again somebody's got your back that is coming through really strong go for it there is a job here. Somebody definitely is getting the job. Oh, that was a J, wasn't it? Oh, well, I picked it up. We want to go with it. K. Kickstarter. Kickstarter. Somebody's being told, go for that Kickstarter that you were thinking about doing. It will work, okay? It absolutely will go. Keep this. Don't come back on me if it doesn't. It's all up to you. It sounds very good, okay? It sounds like a very valid kickstarting program. Um, Tucker, Tucker is coming through here. Huckleberry. I mean that, it, like I'm seeing Huckleberry Farms, Huckleberry Farms. I don't know what that means. I have no clue. If it means something to you, please drop it in the comments below. Okay. J-C, J-A-C-E-E, J-C, -E -E. or maybe that's Jackie, but I'm hearing J-C, J-C. Um, all right, I'm going to leave it there, guys. If it's resonating, if it made any in you know emotional appeal to you at all, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If this made sense to you, um, claim it as yours. And, of course, I would invite you to join our community by subscribing to the channel. If you do subscribe to the channel, make sure you uh, click that notification bell. First of all, it will give you announcement of all of my uh, messages that come out. And it helps it, my channel to grow when YouTube sees that people actually want to see my upcoming um, messages. Okay, so I would appreciate it if you help me out that way. All right, my lovely, lovely friends. 
collective, community, whoever you are out here. I appreciate each and every one of you for being here. Until our energies cross again, I'm wishing you much peace, love, and happiness. Bye-bye.